Hello Nabooers, here is my brand new Nabu PC. It's connected on my laptop computer for the cloud CPM from DJ series. And we're going to turn it on to show you what I have been working recently. Uh, we know that the Nabu shares a lot of similarities with the MSX computer as well. Many games have been ported already and they were even being present in the original uh, Nabu network. But what if I told you that there are certain games that we can run seamlessly on Nabu? Would you believe? So uh, the MSX computer has the, an extensive BIOS that manages everything from the hardware and it's used by many games and many respectable games uh, use that library, the, that API, and if we provide a ROM into the NABU, not a ROM, but uh, actually loading RAM from CPM, but the game thinks it's a MSX ROM, it will interface with the ROM and think it's running in the MSX, while in fact it's running in the NABU. So, Let's show you the first game that I successfully uh, takes a little bit to to load, but there are some implications, mostly for the interrupts. This music is awesome. There's also the question about the keyboard and the buttons because the MSX has two buttons, two trigger buttons. For example, Zanak used two buttons, but the, the Nabu has only one button on the joystick and the keyboard, the, the Nabu keyboard is serial. So let's use the joystick here. Uh, what I'm doing here is I when I press a button on Nabu, I, I submit double buttons or press at the same time. It could cause problems in some games. But as you can see, this game is running flawless. It is really, 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 really fast. I will show you different games. Some not work completely, still is a work in progress. Uh, there are many, many things that change. And the main reason about the interrupt is that uh, initially the NABU uses uh, the interrupt mode 2, but MSX uses by default the mode 1 and all the games as well. And the problem we get is with the keyboard, let's reset the NABU. The problem we get with the keyboard, because uh, the keyboard is uh, interrupted, right? We have interruption that we will receive every key. And when you use mode one, everything goes, even DDP and keyboard goes the same interrupt in what code cause synchronization problems. I try to keep the mode two, but some games, they will try, they will use the register I. And when they do that, they do that, it's game over if we are in mode two. These games, if we want to keep mode two, we would need to patch them. And I don't know how easy it because they are using the, the, the register I just for speed. They don't want it to push the value. For example, uh, let's play a game that I, Love. Let's play on joystick this time. And the Nabu, the 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 TMS nine nine eighteen is made to run on a CRT monitor. See, I'm recording this video in thirty frames. So my 
my cell phone can capture the screen without tearing. Otherwise, I'll just... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> come here, come here. I have a gift for you. Huh? Huh? Damn you. Oh, damn. Okay, time for a different game. Oh, at this time I turn it off. Uh, it's not, I guess I pressed too fast. It's an old capacitor. They just did not wake up again. And I want to really thank DJ Service for making this possible, the cloud CPM. Although I found a bug. Uh, because initially it was a loader, a wrong loader. When I use the main on the disk flop, it works. But if I pass a parameter to application, it cannot open. And it looks like the FCB that's created automatically for the first parameter is not correctly set. Or it's because the drive B, something has not been tested. So if he's seen this. He might want to take a look on that. So uh, let's get a game that every MSX, hardcore MSX love. Nightmare. This game has some synchronization issues with the sprites because the timing must be precise and end this mess with the keyboard intercepting keyboard and joystick intercepting the interrupts you might have some glitches even on visual glitch or sprite but it, it, it is interesting you see you start with a black square you don't see that on the emulator so what, what was developed on the emulator was perfect but when you get to the real hardware that's synchronization problem so the name is not uh psycho accurate or but still it works. This is a hacked ROM. Uh, the problem is that if you dump a ROM from a cartridge and put many ROMs, they won't, they won't work because they have copy protection. So I need to find one that is hacked and this one has, let's see, infinite lives. Like, uh, but uh, they're a good one, so you just need to find it. I was just looking fast and I couldn't find. On, on my MSX machines, I use an other device. I don't load them in RAM. So we have flash ROM and they really, they really looks like a ROM. So you see, sometimes you see a, 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 a flicker here. It's because, because interrupts. I may have a look on this and try to... This game, it was running okay in mode two. Maybe a, it's something I can use as a parameter set mode one or mode two there might be some some there's some space for that it just need more research so let's another game i'll show you a game that breaks in the middle of the game unfortunately it's galaga uh, i still need to figure out what's crash it crashes on mame too i found our first uh, it freezes, soft freezes. I don't know why. It's uh, yeah, well, it's some register got some information from the BIOS or some interruption happened and messed with something. So the way to find out is to dump every single cycle. Then I get on MSX and I run on, on, on MSX. Then I can compare the outputs. Then I see, okay, they are different here, and now I find where it is. This is <laughs> data mining, finding every every cycle and the interrupts. They don't happen at the same time, so I need to filter them out. Do some scripts to to filter. You see, it freezes. Here, if uh, you see, it's soft freeze. You see, I can't tell you. There may be something with the mode mode two, mode one, but. If I'm sure this game uses the eye register, I need to make sure. So let's try another game.
rumble and they, it does not work. I just copied a bunch of games and see the ones that uh, crashes or not. This video is getting long, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Road Fighter, this is a You see ROM here because first it was a, a, a loader, but then the cloud CPM is not loading files, so I had to merge the files together, make a, a ROM a COM file for each one. It's a last minute effort. Oh, crash. This game works, seems to work perfectly. That's amazing because I did not change any byte. Oh, I missed from the from the ROM file. It just runs automatically. Okay, another one. This computer is really interesting. It's, uh, we are seeing the, the birth of a new platform, new computer. It was forgotten and suddenly someone in the USA put on eBay, I have thousand units to sell fast. So I bit the bullet and I bought one. So our mag tree. And I paid cheap for it, eighty dollars. Like, wow! Yay! Wow. I'm really impressed with how. I don't know if it's my routines or if it's the joystick. I'm getting some slack here. I need to start again to, to get the keyboard. But yeah, let's see another game. It was Sky Jaguar that used the eye register that I knew that I that I had to switch over mode one because I was using mode two. So yeah, it's it's try and try and error. There's a long list of games to test. You can have lots of fun testing them all. Uh, Sky Jaguar. Let's see Twin B how it works because it also has a lot of spriting. The techniques on it. This is old Konami, one of the first, right? I'm still impressed with how well Zanak works because it's a very well coded game. Impressive, the performance still. It's a multi color colored sprite, it's very good. Kudos for Pony Cannon. Yeah, this works fine. Let's see if I have still have anything left. Just got a bunch of games. CPM with sound, that's fun. A twin B. This is one of my favorite games.
it's another crack because the original one would not run you see i'm i'm, I'm double shooting you see i'm i shoot uh the thing is about the the keyboard on the on the nabu it's a serial keyboard it receives one key at a time and there's no uh pressing up and down it just have pressed and i think there's an auto repeat uh, except for these uh, function keys that cursor yes no they have they register ups and down but all the other keys they are pretty dumb keys so it gets really hard to make the useful for for gaming right because the key the msx keyboard is a gamer's dream keyboard it's a matrix it 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 register every single key you can press every key on the keyboard and you register them all yeah well it's working very good twin b it's working very good let's see if there's anything else left wow 16 minutes my longest video ever hope you're enjoying your host Oh, it's B drive, sorry. And also, I don't edit videos, sorry, I'm too busy. Uh, we can try to see. Yeah, uh, now left has Rumble that's probably going to crash. I'll show you Rumble crash and can finish. Yep, it's crashed. It's dead, pretty dead. So that's it. Uh, it's a work in progress. I still need to refine and improve it, make it work with more and more games and see what options. It's a lot of research, a lot of fun. It's, ex it's intensive work of data mining and replaying and playing and finding where the game crashed. So that's it. Soon you have a extensive collection of MSX original games on Nabu. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.